Here's another slot board that I started with. You can see how uh, messy it is. It has, uh, in fact, I wasn't even sure if this really was acrylic or if was it cold wax and oil. So I did my little test where I took a little cosmetic swab um, and I put some, um, I put some, let's see here. This one I put alcohol on and it did take the paint off. So, and then when I put Gamsol on another one, it didn't take it off. So that told me that, it, yes, it was acrylic. So that's my little test because sometimes we forget, right? And uh, so um, I'm going to take a photo of this. So I know where I started. It's all part of documenting. All right, so then I kind of, like, I like the colors, actually. They're, they're really bizarre. There are a lot of them. And then I just went into my scrapbook papers, and I grabbed, I, I cut circles, and, you know, these colors definitely are in this uh, scrap, uh, scrap board painting, this slot board painting. Yeah, slot board. And so I'm just going to, like, re like, well, actually, what I should do is probably just put the uh, gel medium on the back side. And this will get sanded down a lot and painted over and all that kind of stuff. And I think what's gonna happen is once I get all these circles on here, you won't see nearly as much of this background anymore. And <clears throat> then I'll work on simplifying it and uh, by, you know, like let's say in this area I want it to be all this rust color, I would just put this rust color and knock out all these other colors. But First, I want to just do a circle series because I love circles so much and it just makes sense to do that. So I'm going to get a piece of um, Castelli paper so that I can just get the back side. And I'm going to use my gel medium again and just really randomly put these pieces down. Make sure I get enough of the gel medium on there. <clears throat> And then really plaster them down, press hard. Okay, here's one of my circles. I try not to get this gel medium on the front side of these pieces because of uh, when I want to sand, I don't want to have covered over with any medium. It won't look the same when I sand it. So. That's why I'm using this deli paper to make sure that I only get one side of it. This one uh, wouldn't matter too much because it's, it's color on both sides, but I think it might be color all the way through. I'm not really sure. So I'm really letting the colors of the slot board, which there are a lot of colors, uh, inform the direction of this piece. I wouldn't have to do that, you know, certainly change the palette if I wanted to with glazes or just painting on it, but I just want to uh, kind of 
see where this goes because I, I have not really tried to do that with the slot board before. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to see where this might go. And also the paint has such a lovely um, topography to it, meaning that it has some real texture to it. And great if I can, you know, use that because I'm going to sand this. I know I'll sand it. And what those textures do when I sand, that's a whole unknown and it's exciting. So that's why I want to try it.
not the extra medium. So then it just goes on to the painting. Okay. Nice, nice, nice cohesion. All right, going along. So now I've got this one started. Take a photo. So there's a close up of where it is at right now. It's still very, very hectic, very, very chaotic, and very, very crazy. So let's see where that ends up going. 